Patrizia, um, your jewels are a kind of um, small sculptures, but anyway, they um, they can be, um, they are wearable. Can you show how you can wear your jewels and what kind of jewels? Where do you wear? On the, on the arm, on the neck, where? Yes, it's true. I, this is just what I like, to draw things and to try to wear it as jewels, proper jewels. This one, for instance, I will think, I'm thinking of putting like this, like a necklace, but uh, I could even work and hammering the same thing and make it like a bracelet, like this, working on this, you know, in this way. Or uh, this one jewels, um, earring, like this, and make it bigger, and let him become a brace, a real bracelet. Now you must think that they are just uh, the, the sketches, so they, it's difficult to show how can, they can be a proper jewels. In, 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 a, in a while they will become. Uh, wearable things, and I hope. <laughs> My story is related to the fresco restoration that I have done for 20 years. And uh, eventually I decided that my passion for the jewels uh, could be a work and I started to design my own jewellery and uh, from that moment I uh, thought uh, to find uh, um, an original way how to make it, uh, picking out the technique from the Romans um, gold leaf jewels and uh, I started to, to draw and to use the gold leaf like a, like a paper where to draw and uh, to cut it, to polish it. Can you show some of your drawings? Yes, yes. I do this, I start with uh, a drawing, drawing on the paper, the white paper, eventually I cut the paper and from that I take, I repeat the drawing on the leaf. This is a copper one, I can use copper, silver, mm, bronze and gold of course. And uh, I draw on it with needles and I cut it with my scissors. And eventually, I, the, the, the most important thing, otherwise you, you break it, you, you can break it very easily, is uh, the hammering uh, phase. And I hammer on, on this, with this, just to make it stronger, because as more as I as I hammer the leaf, more the leaf gets hard and the jewels become... So how long do you hammer the leaf? Uh, uh, to get a lot. A very strong a lot, jewel? A lot, a lot. So in minutes hours, or hours? Hours. 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 hours, half an hour again and I polish a bit and uh, again uh, I rehammer because more you do it, more you can uh, use the, the jewels because it's useless, it should be useless to, to have a nice um, thing but you can't uh, wear it because it's too smooth or too weak and just hammering and hammering and hammering you get the strong, uh, the, the, the right uh, strength, you know, okay. hard. Um. T t tell me, Patricia, what kind of materials did you decide to use for the jewels inspired to the art? Uh, 
for uh, for this challenge because I must say that uh, there is a challenge because I'm trying to um, get the feeling of the light of the magic of the aurora boreale with uh, with um, metal so it's a I must say it's a really a, a challenge and I I'm trying to uh, to use Bra um, bronze, silver, gold, and um, copper. I don't know if I will introduce a bit of uh, plastic in case. Why? Uh, rebirth. Uh, I just use um, plastic from a uh, uh, bottle of water and uh, that I use as a rebirth of, uh, of material. And uh, I will see, I will see, I want to, to, to do my best to, to um, let everybody feel the Aurora Boreale of my... Okay, at this jewel. point how many jewels are you working uh, here in your lab? About for the... Yeah, um, you mean for, for the, the exhibition. Aurora. Yeah, for the for exhibition. The um, 12, 15, it depends. It depends. I want to. Um, I'm going on, and I'm quite happy. So the the aurora are coming out.